the Fred Crowley Summer Mile Stakes is next. This is a one mile group two. Uh, very nearly called it the Alistair Crowley Summer Mile then, which was a different thing altogether, wouldn't it? It's a mile this one, group two. We're at Ascot now, and our Kansas auctioneers at the top. Paul Vinnie Gerald, Amazon Office, David Robertson, French Fries, Joshua Sutherland, Lion Rebellion, Jim Murray, London Five, James Shea, City Art Gallery, Jim Murray, Alexia for Joshua Sutherland, James Doughty, Wiley, James Shea, Medina Spirit, and Milan, which for Dan Hughes, Great Maestra, Darren Thompson, and Hooded Goddess for Leon Van Rensburg, a field of 12. And this one, a straight mile, no issues. And away we go. And who's going to be the first one out? There's two or three of them queuing up for the lead, but French Fries pulling for its head has now gone off into the lead from Stable Companion Alexia in the noseband, also refusing to settle in second. Up the centre of the track, Hooded Goddess in the blue for Leon Van Rensburg, and right over on the far side, Great Maestra for Darren Thompson is racing on its own, but it's French Fries who's clear by good three lengths then from the Jim Murray Hall City Art Gallery in the black and red on this near side, probably just showing second, the grey Arkansas auctioneer for Vinnie Gerald in the green with Alexia next to that one, the second of Joshua Sordon's horses, then just almost hidden Navison office in the turquoise and the blue hoops with the blue then of Milan's Richard coming alongside that one with the second of the Jim Murray horses next uh, that's Lion Rebellion right over on the far side you can see that the Darren Thompson horse is losing a bit of ground and is now cutting across to join the rest of the Medina Spirit the back marker but French Fries is now being joined by Milan's Richard and Lion Rebellion right over on the far side is Hooded Goddess down on this near side Avison office and also now our Kansas auctioneer starting to get going here come those James Shea closers with London 5 absolutely flying so too is James Doughty winding they're inside the final for like and a half now and French Fries being pressed by Lion Rebellion, London 5, James Dancy Wiley down on this near side, he's our Kansas auctioneer, Hoddy Goddard is still there as well, they're well inside the final furlong. on, French Fries is hanging on but only just from Lion Rebellion, London 5 starting to get up, James Dancy Wiley as well, it's got to be close as they flash past the post, it's another close one between the two James Shea horses, James Dancy Wiley and London 5 and has he done a Vinnie Gerrard and dead heated with himself to get double winners? It looks like he could have. Oh, there's a steward's inquiry as well. And it is, he's done it. It's a dead heat. James Dirty Wiley or James Shea and London Five for James Shea. Now, I said a few weeks ago what would happen if one trainer had a dead heat, and now we've had it two weeks on the trot. So, one old Joshua Southern will be ripping his, tearing his hair out now as he's seeing his challenges for the title getting double winners. Anyway, James Daddy Wiley in London 5, first and second, not first and second, both first. Dead eating for James Shea, Line Rebellion third for Jim Murray, French Fries was fourth and Alexia was fifth for Joshua Sutherland.